Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Raging Cajuns have shown few signs of weakness lately. They are exuding confidence in everything they do. String together a few W's, that's exactly what happens. We'll see if they can keep it up. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. exciting football atmosphere. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The kicker's got the ball set up and we're ready to get this thing started. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Taken down by the kicker. Final game for these seniors on their home field. Some will get to the next level and play some more football. Others, they'll be putting the helmet on for the final time. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's tackled at the 45. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Gets it out to the wide out, and he's got the first. He's tackled around the 45-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. He makes it to the 42-yard line. That makes it second and six. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. He's knocked out of bounds at the 27. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down at the 21. That's a game of six on the play. That brings him second and one. Tackle around the 16 yard line. Reception. Game of five on the play. First down. This is the ninth play of this drive. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run.
They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. Play, and it's first and goal. I love to see this quarterback respond when this offense really needs them to pick him up. Your quarterback's performance on third down is vital to your team's success. He's going to try and scramble. He lost the ball. One of the wide receivers picks up the fumble. The time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Time to get you up to date from Stillwater. This one was tight. Oklahoma State gets the W, 17-14. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Winston, ready to kick. He just drills this one. At the 30. Loose football. It's picked up. And he's finally brought down at the 38-yard line. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. Throws it. Finds the freshman. And he is drilled at the 35. That's just a great call by the coordinator there going to the air on first down. To him before he could get back to the line. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 36. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Scrambling around. Decides to slide. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Gets it out quickly. Right down. Right around the 22-yard line. He's scrambling. Slides down. They come out on an empty backfield. There's a strike complete. Tackle made right around the two-yard line. They'll bring him down at the one-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Touchdown, Raging Cajuns. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. It was an eight-play, 62-yard drive. And the result, seven points. We get a tie game at 7-7. Seven, seven. The 
kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 26. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Good outside run there. That's a game of four. That makes it second and six. He's on the run. He gets sacked on the play. Man open, incomplete. McDaniel was the intended receiver on the play. That's going to bring up fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Young is waiting for the snap. Anderson fields it at the 39. They'll bring him down at the 49-yard line. We played one quarter. We're even at seven in this one. We're back for more action here in quarter number two. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That makes it second and And down he goes around the 44-yard line. Scrambling. Good open field tackle. He scrambled. They bring him down. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Second down and 12. Ball on the 37-yard line. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And they make the stop right around the 38-yard line. That brings up third and 14. down now and they need to get it to the 25. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your From the 22-yard line, second down. Here we go. Check, check. Check. He's into the open field. And he's taken down at the five-yard line. He 
He's taken down behind the line. Loss of four on the play. That brings him second and goal. Ball inside the 10 yard line. Second down. Here's the give. He gets out to about the six yard line. Game three on the way. That makes his third and goal. Larson up the gut. Touchdown, Raging Cajuns. And he converts the extra point. So an 11 play, 51 yard drive. And they put up seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. Cleveland has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Ridgeway from the nine. What a collision! Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Makes it out to about the 39. Game 13 on the way. First down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check my 39. Check my 39. And he stopped behind the line. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. Arkansas State's going to take their first time out of the half. From their own 38-yard line. Second down. Caught, and he's hit immediately. That's good for being three yards. That'll make it third and job by the defense of getting after that quarterback and right now I think they've got him with some happy feet he appears to be a bit rattled this is a great punt blocking team and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one makes it out to maybe the 40 yard line Adams' reputation really precedes him when you talk about how he can lead a team, but when you see him in person, you really feel it, Kirk. It's a different, completely different feel when you watch him in person, and it has a lot to do with the intangibles that he brings to the table. I mean, there's examples here in his first half where he's been able to help his team not just being able to throw the football or make good decisions, but just helping guys get back into the huddle, kind of patting guys on the back, trying to get this offense to believe in themselves and almost just willing this team to a victory. So far, he's done all those things. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. Louisiana Lafayette is up seven. And they push him out at the 46. That's good for a game of four yards. That'll bring up third and four. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 45 to the mic. Home team. He makes his way to about the 42. Raging Cajuns will use their first time out of the half. Adams picks up about seven yards on the scramble. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They'll knock him down for a loss. Loss of four yards on the play. That makes it third and seven. The Raging Cajuns call a timeout. That's their second of the half. 
They'll line it up again on third down. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. He's going to try and scramble. Runs with it, and he's got room. And he's tackled at the 19-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Wants to throw outside, and he rifles it in there for the touchdown. Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. Clemson hopes to reinstate the chicken curse and knock off the Gamecocks in the Battle of the Palmetto State. And for Clemson, they're aiming for their seventh win in a row. Clemson has the lead, 7-3. Two touchdown ball game here, Reese, 21-7. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Ridgeway from the two. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Scrambling around. Tackle at the 32-yard line. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. First and 10. Ball on their own 32. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. That makes it second and six. Brought down immediately. Five yards. Not a bad play. They gained five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. He goes downtown, and he hauls it in at the end of that long ball. Touchdown, Red Wolves. Oh, that just kills everything this defense has worked for in this first half. You can't let him score with no time left. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 80-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot. And they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. The score now... 21-14. There's been no lack of scoring here as we've reached halftime. The score, the Ragin' Cajuns lead, 21-14. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnover. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson, Oakland, Stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air, and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared, and that's how you force those turnovers. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, well, a good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away.
Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He's to the 20. And he's hammered down. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play can win this game. The offense is on its way out on the field again, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone in their past couple of drives. Louisiana Lafayette is up a score. Complete. He's got room. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. the middle for a nice game. Gives it up the gut. Nice run there as they work the outside. Under heavy pressure. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. Knocked out of bounds at the 35-yard line. That's a game of seven. That'll bring that second and three. From the 13 yard line, first down. They bring him down around the 16 yard line. Loss of three yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. And this play is number eight on the drive. Louisiana Lafayette is up by a touchdown. The 10 makes it to the eight. Penalty markers down. They took too much time. Delayed game. Offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Down. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. It's third and ten. Ball on the 13. Over the middle to his tailback. And down he goes at the eight. That screen pass nets maybe five yards. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. Louisiana Lafayette is hoping to make this a two-score game. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. A quick update now. Here's Reese. All right, let's check in on some games with major PCS implications. 
This one's been entertaining us all day long. The Gamecocks hammer that running game and score a touchdown. The Gamecocks have the edge, 17-7. And for the Ragin' Cajuns, wow, that's big news. If that score holds up and they win this game, it's going to be good news when the national polls come out. They line up to kick this one away. Taken at the five. He's taken down at the 34. Adams play so far in this football game, he's really the definition of just being a solid competitor every week. Yeah, I mean, you and I have been watching him, and just every week he has impressed us. And then to be able to sit down and talk with him, I think that's the thing that really I took away from our meeting is not just is this guy a talented player, but how competitive he is. And we've seen that again in this football game. Just his competitive spirit leading this team and up to this point, just a flawless performance. Across the middle, tight ends got it. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. James gets the carry. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 37. That makes it first and 10. And they make the stop at the 42. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play. And I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. It's second and 15. Ball on the 42-yard line. Aaron and out long. And he's level at the four-yard line. They're back in the red zone where they have really struggled lately. They bring him down in the backfield. A yard, if that, on the quarterback keeper. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. That makes it third and goal. The ball's on the six-yard line, and we've got third and goal. Got his receiver, touchdown. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he adds the extra point. An eight-play, 65-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. From the five-yard line. Taken down at the 32. The Red Wolves have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. We're about set to start things up again. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He gets hit out of bounds at the 46-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, it's a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Louisiana Lafayette is up a field goal. He guns it. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. 
Throws it in a hurry. He's knocked out of bounds at the 18-yard line. That makes it second and six. Throws a strike over the middle, and he's tackled at about the 11. We'll head to the final quarter of play. Will the offensive fireworks continue? 24-21, Raging Cajun. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. He makes it to the nine. That's a game of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Nice run to the left there. Makes the That's a game of four on the play. That'll bring up third and four. to a receiver, touchdown! He splits the uprights with the extra point. An eight-play, 69-yard drive, and the result, seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of center. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Gathered in at the 6. He's out to the 30. Brought down at the 40. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for 6 that time. Now is when you have to get the ball to your impact players. Down two possessions. If these guys wait any longer to step up, it's going to be too late. I'm sure that touchdown and their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. Gets out to around the 45. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. The halfback with a carry. Nice gain as he works the right side. And he picked up almost four on that halfback delay. Makes it out to about the 33. First down. the grab past the marker and he hits him hard at the 19. He's scrambling and he's gonna be sacked. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator and especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. He steps out around the 12-yard line. Gain of 14 on the play. That makes it third and three. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. What a play by the freshman linebacker. There's really nothing he could have done against a rush like that.
They'll call on the field goal unit here. Less than three minutes in the game. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Arkansas State lines up for the kickoff. Anderson fields it at the two. Tackle at the 27-yard line. And for Adams, he's given the defense a lot to worry about. This is what makes it so difficult to stop this quarterback is his versatility. If you load up to stop his ability to run the football, then he'll throw it by him. If you sit back and are concerned about his arm strength, then he has the athletic ability to scramble and take off. Well, all of his good plays have added up to his team enjoying the lead. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Sets up the screen. Tailback's got it. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 45. Arkansas State's going to take their first time out of the half. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. He scrambled. He's tackled right around the 48-yard line. A five-yard quarterback scramble. The Red Wolves are going to call their second time out. Just over two minutes in the game. Tackle right around the 40. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. From the 40-yard line, first down. Crosses to the running back, and he pulls in another one. He's taken down at the 37-yard line. Tackle in space. Jordan makes the tackle at the 33-yard line. Third down. down we should just see the quarterback take a knee right here winding down the rest of this clock and the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had
Raging Cajuns know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now, he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.